Hello, my beautiful souls. Welcome into your daily read. This is for Wednesday, December 28th, 2022. Thank you so much for joining me, but I do want to remind you as always, this is general for the day for all 12 signs. So just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Um, I did in the first attempt uh, end up pre-polling three oracle cards from the Queen of the Moon Oracle. And then we will use the Light Series Tarot for the rest of the reading. We got purity, trust, and resilience. Now I did get the message in the first attempt, uh, a lot going on, whether that's all you're trying to accomplish, everything uh, surrounding you, uh, multiple scenarios or situations that you're wrapped up with, uh, potentially migrating around. But it's a Tuesday where this gives off naturally a very 10 of wands vibe, which is at the bottom of the deck. Wow, as I said that really quickly, take a deep breath throughout this day, okay? Because you may just have a lot going on, but then with this now um, coming through as a 10 for me, even though it says 21, um, 10, 10 being abundance, okay? But I need for it to feel peaceful all the meanwhile. But it, there's this feeling that you're tapping into that resilient way of being, that very chariot motivated knight of swords kind of vibe, right? Gotta get it done, so I just, I will, period, right? Um, but in what order is what I'm hearing, okay? Prioritize. But there's a need to trust your intuition throughout this day in regards to who uh, to connect with throughout the day, how long to stick around a situation or how long to allow a conversation to proceed. Um, I feel like you're giving off trustworthy vibes. People are tuning into your work online or in general for your business um, or um, migrating around and uh, or doing what they need to and associating with you or observing you at work. And this could even be when you're out and about running errands and you're giving off this trustworthy vibe. But are you trusting oneself all the meanwhile? That's another message coming through, okay? Um, the spiritual meaning of a duck. The spiritual meaning of a duck as I'm drawn here, okay? Um, but the purity card, because I feel like in the midst of giving off these trustworthy, this trustworthy kind of vibe, individually being drawn to this reading, you are being viewed as very pure, okay? Um, purify your energy is what I'm hearing but I just feel like even though you're being viewed in this very pure honest loyal trustworthy nature in certain ways you're feeling quite two of swords like blinded to the future of a connection for some the future of your business your career in general when you acquire this new position for some potentially more in regards to your finances I mean it could be more than one thing for you individually but it feels like Spirit's saying you need to again trust your intuition okay as I clap um, trust your feeling in regards to the future of the situation or multiple and recognize the blanks will be filled in moving forward and everything's running smoothly in divine timing as it's meant to okay even if you don't have something um, just yet or you don't see the the path ahead illuminated you know fully or at all but I do feel like there is a situation where you're feeling the energy quite heavily, okay? Where things just feel a little bit limiting, um, leaving you a bit trapped. But I feel like it's an opportunity to do a bit of self-reflecting, okay? Um, a need to assess one's habits in the recent days, weeks, and how can we improve? It may come effortlessly, but um, some of you might need to force oneself to re-examine or examine in general. Um, but the five of cups, because it feels like there's going to be the, uh, the vibe about the day at certain points as you're busy and doing what you have to do. It may be hard not to focus on what didn't work out, um, on the difficulties at hand, on um, who's annoying, okay, for being completely real, um, or even on what you haven't accomplished just yet, right, and still need to by a certain point. Breathe. It'll get done, okay? And those who are annoying and just not healthy in energy don't deserve even the slightest bit of attention stemming from you, right? Um, even if it's not evidence of others, clear your mind, right? Clear your energy and just focus on what's important for you at this time or even what's uh, more so necessary, okay? And don't make it heavy uh, in your existence. Interesting. But the world card talking about how um, your daily uh, life is changing is what I'm getting. Um, and you might find that at a certain point you do feel quite elevated or starting to elevate in your own individual way and spirit saying let's be one with that feeling okay let's be one with that feeling and not to compare per se but 
how much better would that feel or is that going to feel in that moment in comparison to when things feel a little bit heavier just burdensome okay what else do we have the ace of pentacles thoughts of even efforts going towards a new job a new um, financial investment um, it could be uh, yeah a place of residence a new car for some i feel like um, you're manifesting whatever you want at this time and you need to remember that being drawn to this reading one powerful mind you have there okay i hated that wording but that's one powerful mind you have and it needs to be put to use in the right way right just as much as you can manifest uh, whatever you're looking to acquire at this time, right? It could be more than one situation. Um, you'll get what you want, but you'll also get what you focus on to a certain extent, if not fully. Keep that in mind. So channel your, your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, your, um, your focus towards what's healthy, what's important, what you truly want to see come to be in your external reality, okay? And I just feel like for some, you're thinking about or putting effort towards leaving a situation behind, and it's it's meant to be. It's on point. It's as if how many times can you be reminded that this situation doesn't have a healthy place in your future or a place at all, okay? Um, but I'm hearing we need you to have a peaceful standpoint on your finances, on your career, on what still needs to be accomplished, okay? And this will help you feel more zen, more level-headed when uh, figuring out what the next step is for you or just how to get everything accomplished or just um, how to bring in more money for some or how to save more or both now when things don't feel stressful at a certain point throughout the day ask them ask oneself excuse me why that is okay but it feels like any spiritual messing with throughout the day will feel stressful period okay so i know for me personally it's just naturally a part of my day right as to be expected but not to be um, multiplied in my reality because I expect it so much okay interesting um, that might pertain to you it might not but the six of wands because um, it feels like you are putting on a bit of a show at a certain point even if it's an effortless showing off or displaying and forming kind of situation but I do feel like there's victory to be acknowledged, to be experienced throughout this day. And I feel like as well, in the midst of doing some self-reflecting, you're going to recognize that there's more to be grateful for, more to, to feel victorious in regards to about um, than meets the eye at certain points. What you've overcome, what you've accomplished, what's growing at this time, what's prospering, how you've changed. Okay, um, I'm hearing completion is a must. Completion is a must. All right, see, Four of Cups and the High Priestess. We will remind you, meaning Spirit will remind you of what and who's not meant for you, okay? Whether that's the potential on taking um, of a new opportunity, a new person, um, something come back into play. It could be more so in regards to what you're leaving behind at this time, uh, what you're revisiting. I feel like there's more than one informing or just reminding. Not meant for you, at least not in the long run, okay? Um, but the downloads throughout this day will feel very informing, very clear, and just um, a bit concerning at a certain point. Um, it's almost as if at least at one point, uh, say you hear spirit clearly or there's a synchronicity or something of the sort, it'll feel like a bit of a puzzle or just something you have to, to crack, you know? Um, maybe do a little bit more research in regards to Google something. Um, but the act of having to go through that thought process, that figuring out or that researching is also key for the message or just for one other key reason for you. It could be to get you away from something or somebody. Um, but the Hierophant, yeah, the day does center around change, okay, in more than one way uh, when it comes to you, when it comes to other people, when it comes to a situation or multiple, the switching up, right, um, the change you desire moving forward. But Spirit's saying the moments when you do feel peaceful and a bit distracted and not thinking about all the changes is also quite important, right? Once again, we do need you to um, reassess and self-reflect at a certain point or certain points. It has its importance, right? But if you look at this imagery, when you're feeling peaceful in your, um, okay, steering clear of the drama and not focusing on your individual path so heavily or in general, um, that also has its key importance okay it's benefits all the meanwhile it's a very busy day where 
the assessing taking place on your end and other people's end is quite important as well but boundaries need to take a focus all the meanwhile okay and i just feel like you're going to get done what you need to when the time is right but prioritize okay don't stress it all the meanwhile and make sure you do what's right for you and steer clear of again the drama the bad energy and just make sure you're feeling centered at ease and on point throughout the day all right so if this was truly helpful sending you so much love and light go enjoy your wednesday and i'll see you next time